Hi Libra. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning to the community, thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Let's hop right into your reading. Great Spirit of the Most High, we call upon you now asking for the most highest divine messages on behalf of Libra. Know that we seek the truth even if the truth is outside of their current paradigm. This is for Libra's... Oof, that wanted to pop out, but I'm going to put that back in the deck. Um, for, for the highest good of Libra and all of those that are involved. All right, so the High Priestess wanted to pop out of the deck. I'm going to put it back in. But like every other sign I've read for <clears throat> during the month of July here, Libra, this is about spirituality, connecting to your unconsciousness, your intuition, developing your spiritual gifts, your psychic gifts. It's those of you that are, um, you know, in the conscious world and, and tuned in, tapped in in that way and balancing that duality within you. Okay, I'm going to put this back in the deck and do a, another shuffle. I'm going to get your spread out and clarify each of the cards here for you, Libra. Okay, we have the Four of Swords reversed, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Cups reversed, the Hermit reversed, and we have the two of swords all right so let's see we have one major arcana here and we did also have that um high priestess energy coming out for you um definitely feeling like some of you haven't been <clears throat> following the advice that you've been getting the guidance that you've been getting because you have just kind of been doing your own thing okay so maybe you've been ignoring it or just not even you know, engaged in a practice to really tune in and tap in. But Spirit is ask, is telling you that you need a little bit more introspection so that you can gain a little bit more wisdom in your life or around something that you may be going through. Um, and, and this, the fool, the, the fool, the hermit in reverse can also be about foolishness as well. Okay, so we're going to see what comes up for you here. Let's hop right into your um, overall energy we have the four of swords in reverse coming up for you for the month of july so some of you may be feeling a little bit of sickness but i feel like it's it has something to do with your body transitioning in some sort of way like um like that keep coming back to that high priestess energy like an unconscious energy or something lying in the subconscious that you're needing to let go of and so your body may um fall into an illness like cold or flu or you may get joint pain or something your, your spirit guides are wanting you to sort of sit with whatever it is that you're feeling because there's something that wants to be released okay so you might find yourself during this month feeling like you're a little bit stuck or feeling like you're exhausted that you don't have any time off because you're just going 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 but spirit wants you to take this time to really tune in and reflect and for those of you that are not doing it, you may find that you might follow your, find yourself falling into some sort of um, sickness here. So there's a restless, a restless energy that is coming up for you that where it's hard for you to relax. And maybe it's because you are feeling a little bit uncomfortable, mind, body, and or spirit. Um, but there is some energy healing that you can do. Keep in mind, I do also offer remote healings as well. You can check out a, a, a book. I'll put a link in the description box below. Um, but energy clearings and removals there's something that has been laying dormant within your body that needs to be let go of not sure what this is but i am feeling a little bit of angst and anxiety that is coming up for you because some of you are just really involved in something like putting all of your energy into something and your body is going to be reminding you this month that you might need to take a break so let's pull some cards around this four of swords why is the four of swords reversed here for libra The spiritual healing is also very standing out because it feels like um, definitely a time where you're needing a facilitator. So some of you are not going to be able to do this on your own. So seek help if you need it. Temperance is here. And then we also have the Ten of Wands. Okay. 
this is all about healing okay it's all about healing and finding an, an imbalance because there is some instability that's going on and imbalance that's going on for some of you some of you have something really heavy on your mind i don't know if that has to do with work or relationship it has to do with money whatever this is is weighing on you heavily and this is the reason why some of you are feeling stuck or exhausted because you're trying to um you're trying to make something happen that is not meant to happen yet. It feels like you don't have all the pieces to something just yet. Okay, so take some time. So take take some time, okay? Because it feels like a lot of things are sort of hidden you um, or going to be hidden you during the month of July. So this could be realizations, thoughts, your emotions, you know, people's actions and words towards you could be hitting you in a certain way. I'm feeling a level of sensitivity coming up for you here, Libra, because there are things that you need to work through. So that it feels like it's being done on purpose, like the universe is setting you up for some triggers or whatever this is that you're needing to work through. So pay attention to what that is. Get into awareness, okay? That is what the high priestess is also about as well, as well as that hermit. It's all about introspection, okay? Let's see what else is coming up here. Do things in moderation. So those of you that are like going hard and working on something or investing something, investing into something, this is going to be a month where you don't need to sit down, okay? Sit down and, and find a little bit of peace. Pour you a glass of wine or something. I don't know what you need to do here, Libra, but you need a little bit of a break because things have been heavy. It's been overwhelming. You have been overloading yourself in some way, mentally, physically, financially. There's been a lot of pressure on you of taking care of people, the family, the household. You're trying all the things. <laughs> You're trying hard, okay? But it's going to make you sick, okay? But it definitely feels like whatever this is, okay, spirit is about to, um, I feel like the universe spirit is about to show you the way, okay? And for some of you, that way is going to be sitting you down in some sort of way. So let's get ahead of this now, okay? And find something that you can do to have an outlet. Rest a little bit more, okay? Take a little time off. I know you're like, Jay, I have a family. I have bills to take care of. But if you're not good, none of this is going to get done, okay? So you have to take the initiative to find some sort of outlet that's going to create a level of peace and balance within your mind, body, and spirit and in your home environment so that things can continue to flow and flourish. And the Nine of Pentacles is showing up in your obstacle position, which is letting me know that some of you are not feeling a sense of freedom right now. You may not even be making a lot of money. You're putting in a lot of time and energy into something. You're not seeing the results. Okay, during the month of July, I feel like a level of frustration comes up for you because you're like, I'm doing all of the things, but why isn't it happening? Okay, and I feel like you're normally a free-flowing, independent, um, very gracious and generous person, but it feels like there's some sort of stagnation. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? We have the Six of Wands reverse and then the Eight of Cups reverse. So I feel like there are glimpses of success. There are glimpses of your benefit, your, you reaping the rewards, but then it feels like nothing is stick is sticking. It feels like minor hiccups or delays that could be coming in, or there's always something. It feels like there's always something. And you're like, I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm trying so hard. But I think that's what it is, is you're trying so hard. You're fighting, you're pushing up against something that may not meant, that may not be meant to be. This is going to show up for you in your work, your career in general, or this could show up in your relationship or relationships. Okay? You're looking for something, you know, you're looking for something with in what you're doing, what you're pushing up against, you're looking for some sort of reward or pleasure within it. Could be a material reward, a reward for you. This could be love, whatever this is. But you're trying to force it. And and again, it's like pushing up against the wall. The wall is just going to like you're going to be defeated. Okay, you're going to be defeated. It feels like like you have to you you're going to have to chip at you have to chip at the wall in order for it to. Um, lose its foundation and for you to be able to knock it down. But I feel like you're chipping at yourself <laughs> instead of chipping at this wall, okay? Because some of you are so busy trying to push through a wall and sometimes you can walk around it. 
So um, I, I do feel like a, a, I feel like some of you may be feeling delusional during this month, and that that could or delusional is coming up. But I meant to say delirious because the lack of rest that you may be in, um, enduring or getting or not getting enough of, I should say. So I, I feel like some of you are in the position where you you may be like just thinking about like I just need to let this go because it's just it's it's because it's just it's it's hurting you in the end whatever this may be okay I'm not saying that there can't be success there are moments of success but I feel like spirit is reminding you like you put in the work into something you're gonna see some a level of success but in order for that success to last it feels like you have to stop pushing it and for some of you that is pushing yourself you're pushing yourself to limits that your body can't handle and this is why you may experience some sort of illness um, I don't even want to say but four of swords reverse is also about disease written as well so you know take care of yourself that's all I can say your mental health and your health and your physical health are very important for you actually your mental physical and spiritual health are very important Mind, body, and spirit are important this month. Where your head is, the Ten of Swords. This is the universe putting you down. Okay? There, is some, there could be some misfortune or defeat coming up. Some sort of ending. I don't know if it's between you and someone else. This could be a job. This could be um, your relationship or a relationship in general. That could be coming to an end where you're feeling like betrayed and backstabbed. And that you're feeling like you just need to let this go. Because there's a lot of heavy energy around this. But at the end of the day... The, the horizon is looking brighter for you, but you have to go through whatever this is, okay? So there is a cycle that is some of you are currently in. Some of you will be experiencing it as I look that we move from the 9 to the 10 here. So closing something out and a new beginning. So let's see why this 10 of swords is here. Ace of swords reverse and then the 7 of pentacles. So whatever this is that's, that you're headed towards, it feels really intense and it could be in negative energy because the Ten of Swords is about uh, this defeat, this end. It feels, it feels just, it feels heavy and some of you are going through it with someone or you're going through it with your career, with your thoughts, with this, you know, ooh, sorry, this outdated mind frame that some of you may be still operating in like it's time to let it go because it makes you feel like you're going to feel like you're lacking okay lacking direction lacking clarity in general and although you might have short-lived victories at the end of the day it's still you're still pushing up against something that feels very chaotic and possibly toxic for some of you maybe even destructive um, so make sure that you're making the right decision for you because I do feel this unfulfilled this unfulfillment that's coming up for you something that you've been putting in time and energy into and this could be a person this could be an investment this could be anything for you here Libra take it how it fits for you but something you've been putting a lot of time and energy for into it's I feel like it's going something's going to end and I don't know if it's you actually ending it someone else the the universe working to make someone end it with you or the universe intervening and like making something so crazy like the things just like falls to to crumbles or, or you know that sounds very intense but that's just the way that i'm you know explaining it whatever this is there feels like a loss that you're headed towards but i feel like this loss is for your highest good because you know i feel like it can it, it's like it's shrinking you in some way. It's making you sick. It, some of you are even tired of doing it. You're bored about it. You know what I mean? And it's like you want to show a different side of yourself or you want to do different things. But you have to, like, you're going to have to move on from whatever this is that's bogging you down. So some of you may be walking away from a relationship or a job and building something new with someone else, which means I'm like, oh, well, why are you jumping into something so quickly? I don't know. Some of you have already had something started with someone else, possibly, and you're moving out of something that felt uncomfortable. So there's a lot of things that could be transpiring for you. Make it fit however it fits for you, okay? We have what you're, um, what's coming happening in your near future is a four of cups reverse so this is an energy of you um, feeling like you're just again you're bored you're over this it's it's not really working for you working out for you anymore so you want to do something new 
Okay, I feel like you, you're. It's almost like you're emerging in a way here, Libra, where you're kind of out with the old, in with the new situation. Um, and for some of you, this is going to show up as a relationship. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here for Libra? I'm hearing. Never mind the Tower, <laughs> the Tower and the Seven of Wands reversed. So. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like some of you think you want to move on to something else and then because it might be better than what you're currently in. But then I'm hearing the never mind, like never mind. If this doesn't mean that you're going to go back to what was old that you left behind. But I feel like it's more of an energy of you taking care of yourself. OK, because it feels like you need to focus on you, whether you're focusing on your children or focusing on your work in building friendships or whatever, I really feel like this energy now turns to you where you begin to find out, um, you begin to sort of re regenerate your energy, okay, and building a new relationship with yourself, so to speak. But the tower energy here is definitely saying like there's, there's going to, you're going to have a sudden change of mind at some point, okay? You, you think that you're going to go in a certain direction here during this month, Libra, and then you're going to be like, never mind, nope. I'm going to go the opposite direction. Like I, that on, I have two number, like six, the tower card and the seven of wands are both like no cards. So it's like, I definitely feel like you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to go do this. And then you're like, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> so you just go in a completely different direction. I'm, that's what I'm feeling. So that can show up in your career. You might try, you might try a different industry. You might have another business idea. But something is about to shift for you and it feels like it's going to be sudden and it may even feel uncomfortable, but it's part of your growing phase is what I'm feeling because I feel like some of you are um, going to be in a position where you feel like you always have to defend yourself or you're like, are you being overly sensitive? You're always questioning like, am I doing something wrong? Is this the right thing to do? I feel like you're just at a disadvantage in some sort of way. And it may make you feel like you're lacking confidence and then you, but you feel like a very confident person, but then something is breaking you down in the way that's making you feel vulnerable and questioning yourself. So you decide I'm going to walk away from this. Some of you are going to decide to fight for something, but I feel like you're going to be fighting for your own rights, fighting for yourself in some sort of way. That, that So that's what's coming up for you in the near future. What's happening in um, your advice section is the hermit is coming up reversed, coming out reversed. So this is again, when that, when that high priestess came out initially, Let's me know that some of you are not tuning in and, and not you're you're trying to tune in and maybe not getting the clarity that you need. You're not following the advice that's coming through um, or you may be ignoring it or just not understanding. And you might need more introspection to, in order to gain more wisdom, like I said before. So the hermit is here in your advice to remind you that there's some there may be something that you may be missing or somebody could be playing you for a fool. Um, in some sort of way. Let's see what this is all about here. The Hermit is the number nine. So this is the end. So we have two number nines. We have a number 10. So looks like here, some of you are seeing 10, 10. Some of you are moving on. The number seven is here, a spiritual number. Remember the month of July is a number seven, a spiritual number. So it definitely feels like there's a back and forth that you're feeling during the month of July, but you're going to decide to, to let go of something or someone. We have the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Chariot reversed. Mm -hmm. Libra, what I'm feeling though for you is like, I feel like this doesn't really phase you like that. You're just kind of like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm This is what I'm about to do. Or this is what I, who I'm going to see. This is who I'm going to talk to. This is who I want to hang around. I feel like it's just like on to the next. It's like I'm, I'm feeling like this unfazed energy from you. And although I'm like looking at these cards like, oh, my God, endings, you know, endings are happening, and, you know, backstab, betrayal, all of these things. You're just kind of like, oh. Okay, moving on. I've had my moment with it, but I feel like it's because you've already been in something. You've already reconciled with the feelings that you've had about being in this and you're already over it. And so it's easy to make the transition is what I'm feeling. Like there's like no feelings lost because I've already dealt with the emotion behind the ending. I just hadn't ended it yet. Okay, so that Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot were both coming out reverse.
I feel like that you are at a place, Libra, where you just want to be relying upon yourself because I feel like either there's some fakery around you or like people are just not who they say they are and you're just kind of over it. It's almost like you're like, I'm just going to do this alone like because it's too much people like plans are falling through, uh, you know, just it feels like, you know, fakery, flaky. Um, it just feels like you are like people are unreliable. <laughs> people are unreliable. They're responsible. Um, people have their own things going on and they don't really care about what's going on in your life, but they might pretend what's going on in your life, that they care about what's going on in your life. I just feel like a very independent energy coming up for you, Libra, where you have been like, I need a change of environment. I need a change of in a person. I need to change. Like there's a lot of things that are coming up that um, you may feel a little uncertain about. You might feel blocked or you feel like things are like out of your control and you may be lacking the willpower to make the decision or take the action and you want to just sort of give up. And, you know, you may be finding yourself going in the wrong direction. This is why that high priestess energy wanted to fly out of the deck or it flew out of the deck initially is listen to your intuition. Listen to that gut feeling. What do you need to do around whatever this is that you're dealing with here, Libra? What do you need to do? Because there's something that you may be missing. And this is why you need to sit with it. Be with it 100%. Feel it. Let yourself feel all the feels move past it or heal it, get the help that you need and just move on. And again, because I feel like you've already, you already know the real, you already know the truth. Like I said, you've already dealt with your emotions around whatever needs to end. It's just like you actually just need to do it. Let me take a sip of water. So that's what I'm feeling for you here. Now in your final outcome position, we have the two of swords. Okay, so again, dual. We talk about duality, like the same energy we were feeling with the um, that came up with the high priestess. Like, which direction of it? Like, which direction I'm going? Like, I just feel like you're feeling, you're gonna be feeling stuck. Okay, let yourself feel it. Let yourself feel it and stop pushing up against it. Stop trying to make it happen. Stop trying to avoid the emotions, avoid the feelings that you're feeling. There are messages in what you're feeling your emotions okay you have emotions your emotions are telling you what is happening that is your intuition some of you may have feelings okay that feeling like a gut feeling about something the emotions are things that are just like sort of built in it's like a built-in radar where you're like somebody you feel like somebody's just not I have a gut feeling and I have that feeling shows up as that emotion in your in your body like this is just isn't right then you have to then you have to take the step. Okay, so that two of swords here is like some of you may be feeling stuck or feeling like, dang, this is a difficult decision I have to make to end something with someone or end a job or whatever this may be. I'm feeling confused, like I don't know which way to go. I'm gonna wait it out a little bit more. There's no need to wait. You really need to tune in to your own internal radar. Okay. There is an opportunity for new beginnings if you listen to your intuition, is what the two of swords is saying. Okay. Let's pull some cards around this there are some things that you have been hiding hiding from yourself because the two of swords is connected to the moon energy cancer energy some of you could be dealing with the cancer or have that uh, in your chart cancer is a feeler very empathetic person they're a water sign so there's some things that you have been feeling or maybe holding on to some fears and anxieties that you may have not expressed that's leaving you in this place of stagnation this is why using your intuition is very important Five of Swords and Page of Swords. Okay, so a lot of thoughts going on here. This could even be um, other people as well, but definitely your energy that is showing up for you. Um, Aquarius as well, Capricorn, and even Pisces. So this is a time for you. I'm, I'm going to say this is time for you to be selfish, and I think I've said that before. And there's, you know, there are two different ways. There are two different meanings of selfish. Okay, there are some people can use selfishness in a in a in a negative 
with in a negative connotation but this I feel like you have to really focus on yourself right now you have to be selfish in this moment to really get through whatever this is taking time to yourself treating yourself like really listening to your intuition to get through this because there's been some things some back and forth that you have experienced whether that has been thoughts or you with people um, where you feel like you know you just like I'm frustrated. This feels unfair. It feels like an unfair advantage. Like I feel like it's pointless to even go through it with this person or go through it in this situation because I'm always feeling defeated in some sort of way or feeling like I've failed or some in some something. Okay, but I definitely feel like it may be your time to turn your back to things that aren't sitting well with you. Okay, Page of Swords energy is here too. So we move from the five to the Page of Swords. So whatever this is, I, I do feel like this is your energy where you have, you do have a level of um, intellect and you're very clever, clever and you can be assertive as, as well when it comes to things that you want. But there's a level of curiosity that some of you have been um, allowing yourself to explore. And I think it is time for you to explore whatever this is that you are either ambitious about, you're curious about, you have a desire about, and it's time for you to be outspoken as well. So you might find yourself being more talkative. So if you are, when I say being more talkative, it makes me feel like some of you are talking about some of the things that you have been experiencing and trying to get some perspective around um, which direction you should go in. It's not that someone is making a decision for you, but they're giving you perception and so I feel like it makes it easier. Part of that too, again, is tuning into your divine, your inner, your inner radar, your intuitive radar that you have. So really connecting, meditating, journaling, prayer, prayer, seeking counsel, seeing a spiritual advisor, getting energy work, whatever it is is going to get you to the core. Whatever it is is going to peel back the layers for you in order for you to move forward and living your true authenticity okay so this five of swords page of swords it feels a little bit conflicting and on and five is about new cycles so sometimes we will fall into a place where we will not allow things to unfold the way that they should in a natural progressive way we sort of stifle ourselves because we're in our head in our heads about things but I do feel like there's a whole other side to you. There's that side of you feeling stuck, but then there's a side of you being very curious and ambitious about moving on and ending something so that you can feel free. So you're really not blinded by anything here, Libra. I just feel like you might need to talk about things with someone or, you know, family, friends, whoever you hold dear to your heart. You, But I feel like you need to get good perspective and be very choosy about who you're sharing this part of your journey with and and. Um, so that you're getting a different perception. This is the reason why I'm saying talk to a professional or tune into your internal guidance because that is never going to steer you wrong. So your final outcome is you making a decision about something and letting go and um, getting out of this place of feeling stuck, but not forcing yourself to overcome something that's not ready to be seen. I'm looking at this two and five, seven, very spiritual number here again, right? And then the uh, Page of Swords. I think the Page of Swords ends up being like the 11th card, okay? So 7, 11, some of you could be seen, but those are very spiritual numbers here. So lots of shifts that are happening. And it's the same with every Zodiac during the month of July. July just seems like one of those months where a lot of lessons are going to be learned um, during this time frame. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's going to put you in a different space. So let go of what needs to be let go of. Take care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit because that's going to be important or the universe will sit you down, okay? I'm just warning you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and let yourself just move past whatever needs to be let go of, okay? So I do feel like you're making steps. You move from the two to the five to the page of swords when it comes to your final outcome. A little conflicted about what you've been blinded by, but then you finally decide to just take the leap, okay? And make things happen for yourself. So that is your reading, Libra. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like and comment if this resonates. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys for another reading very soon. Enjoy the month of July. Take care, guys. Many blessings and love and light to you. Peace.